Hi, my name is Dawn Harper, and I'm, as an Olympic hurdler, I understand that what I do in the 100 meter hurdles is very, very, very intense, but there are things that I believe that are key to perfecting your technique. I consider myself a technician, so these are things that I learned in high school, but I promise you I still do them to this day. I do it in my warm up, and I do it sometimes at home, even late at night, when I'm just sitting down and I want to focus on my technique. So I like to break up the hurdles into two different components, the upper body and the lower body. Um, the upper body consists of your hurdle arms, which you will pitch and you will uh, punch back. And then there are the trail legs that you, the lead leg and trail leg that you will raise your lead leg as high as it needs to go, whether your hurdles are 33 inches or 30 inches. And then you will also bring your trail leg up, around and down. And I will show you all of that. The first drill is the hurdle arms. So you just find a place to sit, whether you're at home or you're at track practice, you just sit on the ground. I've used my mat today and you sit in the hurdle position. Now I'm a left lead, so I have my left out in front, right leg out to the side, this is my trail leg, and always, always, always flex your trail foot. This gets people in trouble all the time. Believe me, you do not want to get caught on a hurdle if you clip your trail foot. Now this can seem very basic, but I promise you it is something that will come into play when you're in your race and you don't want to think about it. It's called muscle memory. You just want to be able to you know, recall that, recall your arms. So you're going to pitch your right arm forward, you're going to punch your trail arm back. And this is very simple, one, two, three, pump, in between, pitch, one, two, three, pump, pitch, one, two, three, punch, pitch. And once you start going, you get warmed up, you get more aggressive. One, two, three, pitch, one, two, three, pitch, one, two, three, pitch. And this is something that I said that you do in a race, but it's something you want to break up and you really want to focus on and recall muscle memory. Now, the next thing that I would like to show you that now I want to break up is the bottom half. You will get onto all fours. And once again, this can seem very, very basic, but I promise you that you want to strengthen your hip flexors on both sides, lead leg and trail leg. Now you want to bring it out to the side. It's going to be three different things you're going to do. Bring your trail leg out to the side. You're going to rotate forward and then flex up. And I will show you all three. You're going to do each exercise for 30 seconds. Just out to the side and down, out to the side and down, out to the side and down for 30 seconds. You're going to rotate forward. 30 seconds your hips will start to burn and then you're going to flex up for 30 seconds now, this is something that i said you will start to burn but it's very important because you want to strengthen your hip flexors now you will go to the next side out to the side and down out to the side and down then you will rotate forward then you will flex up and the reason once again that this is important is because your hip flexors and your glutes, this is exactly what you're going to use in your race. And when you get to a point in your race, when you're at hurdles 7, 8, 9, and 10, and everyone else is starting to get fatigued, you can recall on this dr these drills that you have done for yourself. So once again, I know that it may seem basic, but it's something that I've done since high school, and I honestly believe that it has strengthened my hip flexes, and it's very, very, very important.